Yo, do you have any lore? Like, how tall is your character? Oh, I have so much lore. I don't like being on camera. That's all of it. <laughs> It's like every VTuber that's out there is like, I was an experiment that was failed, or I fell through a TV screen, or I fell into a magical portal, and now I'm a streamer. How many times have you thought about collabing with your fellow VTuber friends, but you couldn't figure out exactly how to get two VTubers on stream, let alone one VTuber on stream? Well, today I'm going to solve that problem by showing you a tool called OBS Ninja and how you can use it to collaborate and have multiple VTuber models on one stream or for one recording. Let's get started. Step number one will be to download OBS Studio. Choose whatever you're using. I'm using Windows. You'll get the download EXE here. You'll click it. It will open when it is ready to go. You'll click yes if it gives you a little pop-up. You can start downloading it. Click next. I already have OBS Studio, so it's not going to let me re-download it. But once you have it ready to go, you can go down to your bottom bar and open OBS Studio, and I will show you what to do next. Next, we will be setting up our scene here in OBS. So if you've never used OBS before, you may want to look up an in-depth tutorial if you're setting it up if you know how to use it already great so once your scene is ready to go we'll, we'll start it from scratch here we'll do scene two once you click new scene you'll want to add your vtuber in i have a display capture so you can see what i'm doing right now as i'm recording in obs we'll click the plus button and we'll do game capture i'll call this vr saya 2d we'll click ok drop this down to specific window and then go ahead and choose vtube studio once you have v vtube studio selected i just dragged it down here to be the second layer so you can still see what i I'm doing. You're going to right click, click filters, click plus, and then add a chroma key. Click OK. And that should take away the green screen there. So now we should be able to drag our VTuber up here and on top. And if you go into VTube Studio, you can click that X to take away the side. You can double click to bring it back in VTube Studio. And what I'm going to do to get rid of this little watermark is hold Alt and see the red bar right here. I'm going to pull it in so that it's not uh, flying over here. So we have my VTuber in here now. Hello. Welcome. And the next step you're going to want to do is you're going to start virtual camera. Virtual camera is super useful. If you've never used this tool before, it will blow your mind because it's super cool. We'll start our virtual camera. You're not going to see anything happen, but uh, you will you will understand shortly why we start our virtual camera. The next step is going to be to have your friend or your fellow VTuber set all their OBS up just like this or however they want to be presented. So if you want your character sitting in the middle of screen, say you want some aesthetic anime background, I'm just going to click and drag and drop this in here and put this behind Saya and set that up. So and then we'll just make that bigger and then say this is what you want it to look like when they're on your screen. I'd recommend just having them go in straight with a green screen. So instead of them actually applying that filter to their VTuber like we did for yours, you you might want them to keep their green screen and they're going to have their whole screen filled up with the green screen and have just their VTuber because you'll be able to get rid of the green screen on your end in your OBS and this will make more sense again as we move forward. So I'm going to have one of my VTuber friends set up their OBS so you can see what they're going to do on their end. And the first thing you're going to do is click the green circle with the background icon. Then you're going to scroll down and select color picker. Then you're going to slide the slider to a green screen green. So actually a member in my Twitch chat just asked about, I'm editing this video live on Twitch. So if you haven't followed me on Twitch, make sure you go send a follow that way. Yo, smooth plug or what? <laughs> Anyways, you can go to the, you want to go to the background and if you go back to the color picker again, you can select a different color if, you're, if your VTuber happens to have a lot of green in their character. If you like aqua or green, if you need to do magenta, the other ones that I recommend is you can do magenta or you can do like a dark blue. Um, those don't work for me because obviously I have blue and pink in my avatar, so the magenta and the blue won't work. That's why I use green. And I have to be careful with my green too because there's a little green in my hair on the highlights, but you can do a different color. Please do that if your VTuber is of... Uh, it has specific colors in it that will end up getting blocked out from a green screen, you can use another chroma key color. After setting up your green screen screen or any other color that you need, you will navigate straight over to OBS, right click in sources and add a game capture source. Um, just type in Axel VT. Oh, that's fine. You don't have to name it, I guess. That works. We don't type here. <laughs> um, drop that down. Next, you will do capture specific window in the mode and then drop down the window match priority and select VTube Studio and then click OK. 
So in this case, we actually will want to put a green screen, magenta screen, blue screen, whatever color you choose from what I said earlier. You want to keep it on your VTuber for this specific task that we're trying to achieve. So make sure you right click actually on your game capture, go back to your filters, turn off that transparency box, and also make sure that the chroma key is not showing so that the screen is green, blue, or magenta behind your VTuber. And then finally, you're going to start virtual camera on OBS. Make sure you click start virtual camera and we'll move over to OBS Ninja. All right, once you get to OBS Ninja, click add your camera to OBS. Then you will make sure you allow your camera to be used on OBS Ninja. If you get a little pop up in the upper left, click allow. And then you're going to change your video source to the drop down menu and select OBS virtual camera and then click start. One of the next and most important things is to make sure that your VTuber is as high res as possible. You'll go down to the gear, click on the gear, and make sure that you select the little bullet point that says max resolution and make sure that your VTuber is crispy clear on OBS virtual camera for whoever is streaming them. Next, you're going to go up to that green link and you're going to highlight that or control C, command copy that link and paste it into Discord and send it to the person who's going to be bringing it into their OBS, so to the person that's going to be broadcasting. So once once you have that link that your friends sent to you, you want to right click in your sources in OBS, click add, and then do a browser capture. We can call this VTuber friend, click OK, and then you will paste the link in here. You will paste the OBS Ninja link right in the URL section. Also make sure that it the width is 1920 by 1080, that's standard screen slash film size to make sure that the VTuber takes up the whole area. And then you'll right click on the VTuber friend, go to filters, then go to the effect filters, and then you'll do a plus and make sure you have that chroma key in there and you can drop down and change it if it needs to be another color to get rid of the background behind them. And now we have two VTubers. Yay! Hello Axel. Tell us a little bit about yourself and where you come from. What planet are you from? So over on my channel, I plan it, uh, we talk all about how to write stories, make character designs, and just generally things like that through anime, which I think is pretty interesting. So if you have time, maybe check it out. Yay! Thank you so much for helping us today, Axel. Anytime. So now you're ready to collab. You got all the software in place, but you're still nervous and unsure about like how to actually collab with people or what you should be prepared for. Well, make sure you stop over at my Twitch stream to ask questions live. I love helping. You could also join our Discord if you have any questions about how to navigate the roads of VTubing. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time on the Sapphire Star. Bye.